stage five of the Volta a España. And once again, in the south of the country, they were welcomed by clear blue skies and temperatures up into the mid 30s. The stage itself, taking them from Granada through to Roquetas de Mar, 188.7 kilometers. And despite the fact it had a seaside finish, there was an altitude gain throughout the stage of almost two and a half thousand meters. The final category two climb coming with 26 kilometers to go. The opening hour of racing was incredibly quick with the average speed more than 47 kilometres per hour. A breakaway group of 25 forming, amongst them Rudy Mollar of Group Armour FDJ, the best placed in the general classification at 3 minutes and 46 seconds behind the red jersey of Mikhail Kwiatkowski. Back in the peloton it was Team Sky who were controlling the breakaway group but conceding time and the red jersey slipping away from their Polish leader. The only other team to miss the breakaway was Quick Step, but they weren't interested in doing any chasing. The leaders were getting amongst it to see who would win the stage. As they're on the final climb, leading group of three, including Alessandro DeMarchi of BMC, Simon Clark of Education First Drapak, and Volker Molima from Trek Segafredo. They went over the top of the climb with a 43-second advantage over Flores de Taya Blotto in El Yombo, Davide Villela of Astana, and Rudy Mola of Group Armour FDJ. The peloton then crested the climb at more than a six minute deficit and the Frenchman was on target for red as the battle amongst the leading three was on for stage honours. The tactical game in the final few kilometres gave the chasers a chance to get them within their sights but it wasn't quite enough. They fell just short as Simon Clark opened up the sprints to win the stage ahead of Mollema and then DeMarkey. For Simon Clark, it was his second stage victory in the Volta Espana, coming six years after his first. Such a long stage, you know, it's it's so hard to sprint after that. And even I was cramping when uh, Molimer attacked and I just rode through it and I just backed myself. And, you know, I was, I was so worried that they were going to catch us from behind. But in that situation, you just got to be as cold as ice and just uh, you got to be willing to lose to win and so I was and uh, I come out on top. Clark took the risk and he got the win ahead of Volker Molimer with Alessandro De Marchi in third place. Viella led home the chasers. It was then Rudy Malar moving into the race lead. The Frenchman has a one minute and one second advantage over Mikhail Kwiatkowski. It's then Emmanuel Buchmann followed by Simon Yates and Alejandro Valverde. Stage six is a chance for the sprinters. San Javier is the destination, 155.7 kilometers. Just two category three climbs, the final one coming with still 52 kilometers to go. Could this be the second chance for the sprinters or will the breakaway again steal the show?